Hey, what's up guys? Here's a quick way to downgrade from iOS 13 to iOS 12.4.1 and keep data. Let's just jump directly into things. So starting out on your device, the only thing you need to do is head into the settings app, head into iCloud, iCloud once more, actually on iOS 13, it's find my, and then turn find my iPhone off. Just enter your passcode, click turn off. It's gonna go ahead and turn that service off. Then we're gonna go ahead and plug our phone into our computer via a standard USB-C to lightning adapter. Anyway, this can be done on both Mac and Windows. So heading over to the computer side of things, you're gonna go ahead and go to this website right here, select iPhone and select your iPhone model. In this demo, I'm using an iPhone XS Max. And we're gonna go ahead and manually download iOS 12.4.1 just by clicking download right here. Again, just select, again, just select the iOS 12.4.1 IPSW for your specific iPhone. Go ahead and let that download and then throw it on the desktop. Now I went ahead and did that in advance before recording this video. So it's right here on the desktop. Now we can actually navigate to iTunes from here, navigate to our iPhone summary page up in the top left. And uh, basically what you're going to do is you are going to back up your iPhone on iOS 13. You're gonna back it up to this computer. So I'm gonna go ahead and click backup now. All right, so now that we're entirely backed up, we're gonna go ahead and hover over this restore iPhone button. Yes, the restore, not the check for updates, the restore one. And here is where we're going to manually select that IPSW file that we downloaded. So on a Mac, you're gonna hold down option or on a Windows-based PC, hold down shift. So with that button held, click restore. It's going to pop up with this dialog box and just navigate to where you downloaded that IPSW file, select open and click restore. Now your iPhone is going to be entirely wiped. It's going to be set up as a brand new phone. But again, we made a backup with an iTunes. So all of our data is going to get back onto our device once we're done with this restore. All right, and while we're waiting for this restore to finish, there's only one thing we have to adjust. Now, we restored from iOS 13 and we're going back to iOS 12, and natively, you can't restore an iOS 13 backup on iOS 12, so here's how to fix that problem. If you go up into the iTunes menu bar and select Preferences, go to Devices, and select your backup and click Show in Finder, it's going to go ahead and pop up this window. We can go into our backups folder and go into info P list. Now we're going to go ahead and open this up with text edit. It also works with Xcode if you have that installed. Now from here, we're just going to go ahead and search for product. And we're actually looking for the third line down right here called product version. And it says 13.1. We're just going to go ahead and delete that and put in 12. Just like that, go ahead and save the file, exit out of all of these windows, and now, once we're back on iOS 12, we'll be able to restore from that backup. It's as simple as that, guys, to get our data back. Anyway, I'll go ahead and let this restore finish up, and I'll be right back at the end of this video to wrap things up.
Alright, so the restore has completed. Basically, once you get to this screen, as you guys will see, iTunes on our computer, now we can restore from that backup that we just created on iOS 13, but now we're on iOS 12. Let's go ahead and click continue to get your data back. And there we go, guys, restoring from backup. The restore is in progress. So just go ahead and let this finish up and you guys will be back on iOS 12 with all of your data from iOS 13. Anyhow guys, thank you so much for watching today's video. I'll go ahead and let this play out so you guys can see the final result. But in the end, thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned for some awesome content coming this next week. But until next time guys, this is Tony signing out. And there we go guys, the restore has finished up. So I'm gonna go ahead and let my phone reboot real fast. And here we have it guys, the restore has completed. All of our data should be back on our device on iOS 12. That pretty much wraps up this entire tutorial. I'm gonna go ahead and skip through these on-screen steps right now. Setting up everything I can later in Apple just to get this over with as quick as possible. And there we have it, welcome to iPhone. If we swipe up and swipe over, yes, all of our apps will need to be reinstalled. But as you guys can see, all of my photos and other important data has been maintained. Even the background wallpaper from iOS 13 is now on iOS 12. But just to confirm with you guys, if I go to settings, general, and about, I am on iOS 12.4.1. So that is how to downgrade and keep data. Yes, it's kind of an annoying process. And yes, the only way to do it is with a computer, but there is a way to do it. Anyway, guys, I really hope you enjoyed today's video. Thank you so much if you've made it to this point. Um, there's going to be some more awesome content coming at the end of this week. We have some awesome unboxings and other iPhone 11 related videos on the way. So stay tuned. But until next time, this is Tony signing out. <laughs>